with the starter sitting out, we as Chicago Bulls fans seen Patrick Williams and Kobe White cook. They did lose, though, but they still cooked in a uh, preseason game against the Denver Nuggets. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about Dalen Terry. Got a few concerns. And then C-Dub got a special message for Quentin Jackson, who was just waved by the Chicago Bulls. Y'all know we're going to talk about it. But you know you got to hear the music fit. Cone, yeah. Gang. Shy Boys Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby. And I'm with my dog, C-Dub. How you doing, boy? Hey, man. We pushing peace over here. Even if we be talking about the Middle East, we pushing peace. Oh, hey, if you like what you're listening to today, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well. So every time we drop, you'll be one of the first ones to know. Now. In the game against the Denver Nuggets, the Chicago Bulls fell in a loss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It is what it is. It's just preseason. Bulls didn't have any of their starters. Put, well, yeah. they had some of their starters play. They didn't have the big three plan. And they let Alice Caruso, Mr. Headband, take a day off as well. But yeah. we did see Patrick Williams go out and do his thing. You seen Kobe White look good out there. Patrick Williams in 25 minutes dropped 20 points. And then Kobe White in 22 minutes dropped 20 points. Then I got to show some love to Ayodo Sumu. Did only have 12 points. But, man, was this impact felt all throughout through the game. See, yeah. Doug, how do you think about – uh how you feeling about Patrick Williams and Kobe White's performance against the Denver Nuggets the other night? Okay, we're going to start with Patrick Williams, man. Um, I think I made a short that uh, after that performance again, in the first game against the Denver Nuggets, it was a very underwhelming performance for P. Will. Uh, even though it was a, um, a preseason game, we would like to see him more aggressive. He looked lethargic. He looked like he didn't want to play. He only scored two points. I think I'm going to have to go ahead and get credit to Billy Donovan here to go ahead and sitting down the big three and let Patrick Williams go out there and eat. And then, you know, when he get in this position where he the only weapon out there, you know, he going to flourish every time it happens since he's been a bull, he has flourished and scored big time points in his, in whatever minutes he's played. I just need Patrick Williams. I don't care who on the floor. Be aggressive. You might don't score 20 points every game. You might not score 18 points per game. You're not going to score 30 points every game. But be aggressive. Is that going to score? Is it going to make a play for others? Going to the to the backboards to get rebounds? We need you to be aggressive, Patrick Williams. Just in this notion that you played yesterday. But we got to get the rebounds up. Two rebounds ain't going to cut it. My guy! Now, let's get to Kobe White. Kobe White, I'm telling y'all, Kobe White is going to be on a mission this year, y'all. I really didn't have a problem with, with Kobe White. I wasn't worried about anything. I knew he would perform to this level when I seen that none of the, the um, we just call them the veterans, were playing in this game. Uh, 20 points in 22 minutes. He knew he had to add an extra scoring punch out there because, uh, you know, Zach and DeMar is not there, plus Vooch. So he did that. Uh, I wish he would have had more assists, but, hey, I'm still impressed with his floor game. I do not want to forget about Ayo Dusumu, who has absolutely found his niche with this team, if you're paying attention. Ayo Dusumu is going to come in this game and be a absolute beast defensively. He's going to push the pace, and you better get back on defense because it looked like the fool got faster, if you can believe it. He back to them ways. Four rebounds, seven assists. He was just hitting uh, Adama Sunagu for easy layups under the basket. You know what it reminded me of, nephew? It reminded me of rookie Ayo Dusumu. Just to yes, tell sir. you, but, so, wait, yeah. but yeah, go ahead. My bad. I'm happy with the shorties. I was just gonna end it up with that. I'm happy with the shorties, how they performed last. He yesterday. called them shorties, Mr. That 290 shorties, speaks man. himself. <laughs> <laughs> um, bro, but you gotta give it to him, man. I think that the biggest thing is hey, that's what we expect that Patrick Williams to do. Every time there's no Demar, there's no Zach. We see it, we see glimpses, we get we get the you know the 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 sights and we'd be like oh this guy can really be something if only he be aggressive and i i say that hey take this right here 
and let's go ahead and help and insert that into games moving on forward with you guys that's going to be in the game. We seen Patrick Williams operate the pick and roll. We seen Patrick Williams give the ball up, create his own space, and slash hard to the basket and get himself a layup. That's how Patrick Williams is going to have to accumulate extra points for himself and extra touches within the flow of the offense because they're not going to give him the ball and say, hey, go get us a play, go get us a shot. That's going to be DeMar and Zach Levine taking the bulk of those shots away from him. So he's going to have to do other things, create other opportunities for yourself, or, you know what I'm saying, Billy Donovan. You can go ahead and incorporate some of this stuff too. But you don't really have to go into the ISO game until things get tight. You know what I'm saying? You want things to play, you know, free and flowing and let it flow. So shout out to P. Will because I think right there is something that he can really, really build off of, especially because he's seen it. The man hitting step back threes. He drives, yeah. he uh, cutting hard to the basket, getting them nice layups. We've seen him operating the mid range, hit a step back mid range jumper. Yeah, nasty. He, can, he can still do those things. It's not going to be at a high volume, but he can still do those things when those other guys come back. Kobe White, love what he was able to do. Me personally, hey, look. We came on and said, give him a shot. He ain't let us down yet. No. Now, I think it's just a matter of time before they say Kobe White is going to be the starter for the future. My guy has the ability to play make. A lot of people question that. He's been playmaking. Is yeah. it the best? Is it top notch? Is it one of the superstars, unlike the superstar point guards in his league? Probably not, but he's no. competent enough to get it done. And yeah. on the defensive side, he doing his thing. He shot a three yesterday from Steph Curry range, damn near. So shout out to him. And I owe those two lastly. I think the guy, he's good now. I think he's back to normal. He yeah. off the HGA, he's good now. <laughs> <laughs> Young guy. <laughs> but you say he had HGA. You said it. You started all last. All you last, see all how buff uh, I owe those Sumo was in them picks, boy. Oh. Come on hey, now. Bro, uh, shout out to shout Io Dusumu. You know who? Who are? Let me ask you this because I'm gonna answer it first, and then I want you to answer. It. Who are you most impressed with? Uh, I'm most impressed with Io Dusumu, nephew, because I because I think it was hard for him to get back to that to his rookie ways, and I know that sounds crazy, but his rookie the rookie Io Dusumu was way better than the sophomore Io Dusumu. Sure. So out of the three kids, who 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 you who you think? Uh, impressed you the most this whole preseason so far? Uh, I probably would have to go Ayo Dosumu, even though Kobe White is not too far off. But I will say when a guy comes in in the second half of the first Denver game and he's able to get three offensive rebounds of straight hustle and heart, I know it's just a preseason, but it's st you still can't discount that. And then yeah. he comes in and now he's taking the things coast to coast. Obviously, you want to see him do it more during regular uh, regular season games to make sure that he can go ahead and build that consistency. I think that's the biggest thing What comes next with Ayodo Sumu. Build that consistency, and we can see what happens. From now, i give him the edge, but it's not that far off from Kobe White because Kobe White, he was questioning, no, he needs to be a six-man. No, he can't play mate. No. And we said, hey, give him a shot. He yeah. right, he right in you. He right within your organization. Give him a shot. And so yeah. far, he hasn't disappointed. He been solid. Yeah, Kobe White. Um, he he is very intriguing of what he's gonna do in a regular season when he faces top notch opponents every day. Right. You remember this the NBA is filled with amazing point guards every day he's going to have a good matchup and i think he's going to hold his own nephew he's going to win hey, he a lot of matchups he's going to lose a lot of matchups yeah he, he got the scoring ability to hold his and he's improved on defense so he should be good enough yeah, we'll see him we don't know to me we don't know the ceiling yet we don't that i would say i don't, I don't know the ceiling yet and that's a good if somebody thing. is putting the ceiling on him i think they kind of cutting him short because yeah we don't know yet that's a great point nephew i've been saying that for since uh since we've been talking about Kobe for this upcoming season, there is no ceiling right now. We will find out a lot during this season. We're gonna find out about P. Will, we're gonna find about Io, and we're gonna find out about Kobe. We about to find Facts. out. Facts. Now we got all the good out the way. So y'all let us know down below. Was there was those three guys doing well? Let us know. And then uh hey, we got some concerns though. We got Daylon Terry, man. It seems like for me, from just watching him play, 
Seems like the game still has not slowed down for him, on him. But I'm not concerned right now. C-Dub, are you concerned? I am very concerned, uh, nephew, because it seems that he didn't get better at all. And we have better choices on the team that we can uh, spend more attention to. Uh, and attention is 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 very valuable when it comes to terms with uh, young players. I think just J Julian Phillips and uh, Adam Adama Sanogu and Justin Lewis are people you should put more energy into into instead of Dell and Terry. The jump start is looking the same, nephew. He's getting into the lane, stopping, holding the ball. He's not attacking. He don't know what to do on the basketball court. He just looked like he's frustrated and he's in his head a lot. Now, does this mean, C-Dub, that you're done with Dalen Terry? No, I am just very worried about his future with this basketball team, the Chicago Bulls. I'm very worried. And those are all the great points, and I ain't going to go against that. My angle is this. I'm looking at a guy who came into this league and saw the least amount of minutes for all rookies. And it's evident. And it was evident when he played, when he did get in the game during garbage time last season. It was evident that he ain't had much experience going into this past summer league. He still did not look like he, you know, took that step forward. And now if we, he even let Javon Freeman Liberty outplay yeah. him, who's no longer on the team. But my angle is, and you have very valid points, there is a little bit concern but I'm willing to take a step back for now because this guy literally has no NBA experience pretty much. What, riding the bench and cheering on your team? Constantly playing back and forth between the NBA and the G League? Maybe. This is just, hey, he is behind the curve, though. But the angle is, if you want to see the guy get better, you got to play him in NBA action. Okay, and then I will uh, retort that. Uh how do you feel about on rap betting and uh Bitten? justin lewis the little yeah the little that they was on the court we don't know how his bat his uh last name pronounced i heard a lot of pronunciations so i just took the middle you trying to correct me on the damn <laughs> no i just said bet him Shit, <laughs> yeah that's what yeah. i call him <laughs> um i think those guys have played better than him and they play way way less minutes than him they look further along, and that's rather alarming. And what did you say about the offseason and yourself working on yourself, your game yourself? Forget playing time. You get in the lab like Kobe White, work on your handle. Uh, his handles look the same, nephew. He still got the the same power moves into the basket. He got that long uh, Euro step that if he can't blow through you, he's not going to get to the basket. Uh do you see any improvement over Dalen Terry and or end is one of these three players better than him? Sanago, Bitum, and Justin Lewis. Well, Bitum, my argument for him is this man just came from overseas playing professional basketball. <laughs> um, bro. So that'd yeah. be one. Amada Sanogu, he had a lot of things set up for him, but as of right now, you got to rank him higher. When it comes to Justin Lewis, I, I'm not ready to say that. I think it's kind of on the, on the even playing with them. Look, the, my point is that I have some concern, but the coaching staff has not put him in positions to where he can develop either. So he, so that's he my only point. I, I, I ain't mad at you. I, I hear that. I ain't, I ain't done with them though, but I, it's just looking alarming. It's, it's concerning. Yeah. My, so it's he, just that my level is lower than yours as of right now. Okay. Now he going to G League. You know for sure he going to G League. What do you – and he tears up the G League, nephew. He – all last season when he went to the G League, he was absolutely outstanding. What do you want to see from Dale and Terry when he goes into the G League? He needs Nothing. to refine his I game. I don't want to see him in the G League. We just That's seen Marco Simonovic kill in the G League <laughs> and couldn't sniff real NBA minutes. That's where he's going, seen, nephew. We seen Garlic Jones be the MVP. And last yeah. year, he didn't yeah. get no tick, only in Paris. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? So yeah. the G League is cool. You can develop some players that let them get their game corrected. But I still think, I still think 
Ain't nothing more valuable than NBA minutes. But it's not going to happen for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because one of your, like I said, you got great points. It's just the point is that I got an angle for saying that he needs opportunities. His opportunities ain't been that, and he ain't going to get none because the team too loaded. This and it's weird other guys. As Nephew being nice, yo. This is weird. I want y'all to clip this nice? right now. You being nice, gang. How am I being, being nice? nice? He's been awful. You know it. He's been I awful. I said there are some And you, when people been playing awful, you get on their you ass. Gotta you got a soft spot develop. for Dale Terry game. No, not you that do. soft. I told you. I, I told you, bro. The, the fire to want to see him play is burnt out. <laughs> it's burnt out. We was calling for him all second. When they, when they started losing in December, we was calling for him. Man, yep. if they're going to play like this, let's play the young guys. Yeah. Let's That's play Dalen Terry. Oh, yep. in the second half of the season, the Bulls playing like this again? Man, put Dalen in. Ain't a yeah. lot of people going to be saying that now. Nope. Okay. Why? Well, here, here it go right Because here, you did. Tell it. It's already yeah. a young guy that's about to get more minutes than him already. I was about to go there, nephew. You talking about Julian? Yes. Who are you like right now? Who's better, Julian or Dalen? Julian. That's a shame. That's very indicative, bro. This is bad, bro. Bad. Maybe the coaching staff not sold on him. And sometimes that happens. You know what I'm saying? I can't be mad. I defend his plate. Yeah. But like I said, my only angle is, is, hey, these guys haven't put him in great position. Maybe it's mostly him. Because I'm not going to sit there and fault the coaching staff 100%. I'm not going to do that. Okay. This, I think a lot of it is on him. Because... Yep. He still seems erratic. He still seems like the game hasn't slowed down for him. That's all mm-hmm. I'm saying. And that comes yeah. with himself. But it's a combination of these guys haven't put him in great opportunity. Yeah, and that jump shot, he don't got a chance for that to go in. Gang. It's not a chance in hell that jump <laughs> shot can drop, bro. <laughs> Y'all he got a lot us... of work. He got a lot of work. Man. Y'all let us know how concerned y'all is about Dalen. But before we go. As y'all know, the Chicago Bulls yesterday, they cut ties with the guy who got two posters in this preseason, Quentin Jackson. Man. And Quentin Jackson is no longer a Chicago Bull. C-Dub talking about he want to send him off on the right way. You got the flow. (laughs) Man. Hey, man, Quentin. You gave us two, two fantastic facials, bro. One of them didn't count, but it was absolutely nasty. That first dunk, it was only preseason, but you lit up the house. Milwaukee was buzzing Quentin Jackson. Don't give up your basketball dreams, bro. Continue to search for a place to play basketball, bro. But it's just one thing. You can't do it in Chicago. Peace out, Quentin. Peace out. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe this guy. <laughs> it is what it is, man. You got any final thoughts after that? I feel like it's just supposed to end right now. <laughs> That's little. Hey, man, my final thought. Quinn Jackson, man, keep working on your game, bro. Y'all think you make the league eventually, big dog. Facts. I definitely think, hey, it was, it was, hey. He did what he could. It's just that the Bulls are too loaded right now. That's yeah, just what it that's, is. That's the perfect answer. That's the answer right there. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Because, yeah, they own draft pick from last year. Ain't even finna get much tick. <laughs> you gonna get no tick. Zero. Settle. But, Settle. hey, that's it from us today. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe here for all your latest Bulls content. And if you want to be a part of any mailbag episodes to where we react to your take on your Chicago Bulls, call in if you want the smoke. Now nah, I'm just playing. Call in, leave a take note. 773 242 9219. another episode of Shy Bulls Podcast. I'm Bobby. That's C Dub. We're going to catch y'all on the next one for shout. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Gang. Yeah.